Hello beautiful homies, it's Sabrina and we're going to talk about the new empathy. I have the uh, Webster's Dictionary in front of me and the definition of empathy and it is the ability to share in another's emotions, thoughts and, and feelings. And um, we think of empathy as something that really serves people. And I want to talk a little bit more about this idea about the new empathy. When we have empathy for someone, it's almost like we're psychically connecting with their point of view and their perception of, let's say, us. And um, let's say that there's a person that struggles and really wants to be around us, but we're kind of maybe feel like they're too much for us. And... Uh, When we get into empathy, we're getting into their energetic stamp. Many of times in that energetic stamp, there is a perception of a lack of something. A lack of love, a lack of energy, a lack, and a need. And... It's fine to understand where someone's coming from, but it's a problem when we begin to separate ourselves while we're with them and engage in their perspective, rather than merely holding the space for someone with an understanding of where they're at. It doesn't serve for me to feel pressured by someone else because I recognize their issue. It's more important for me to engage in the infinity flow in their presence. I, I'm, I'm talking in a sense about, you know, energy vampires and um, or people that need love but are kind of I don't want to say they're unlovable, but people have a hard time giving them love because they're so demanding of attention or energy. Or they're just inappropriate or whatever. And the important thing to remember is to stand in your own infinity flow, even though you know where they're at. Because we keep bouncing our consciousness from our perspective to their perspective, our perspective to their perspective, and that is no fault of theirs. Energy vampires bother us because we give them our consciousness. And remember, everything always comes back to an adjustment that you need to make. I need to make the adjustment, not the other person. And so the beauty of it is, the game becomes, the sort of playful aspect of life and reality becomes, I'm going to maintain my infinity flow. I'm going to shine bright. A lot of times we're like, oh shit, I don't want to shine bright, so bright around this, this entity because they're just going to take my light. They're going to want more of it. Again, there you go, separating your psychic awareness, putting it into their body and their perspective of lack. Maintain your perspective. Maintain the open channel. Don't feel threatened by anyone or anything. Don't worry about someone taking it. It's always there. People are scared. People feel so much darkness right now. I hear it from people. I read it from people. I hear it from people. The only reason why you recognize so much darkness is because you're light. If you were darkness, you would look at it as like a uh, celebration of the times, of the dark, of the dark aspects of reality. You would look at it as a strengthening of who you are, not a threat. So by the very idea that you're looking at it as something scary is a beautiful thing because it means that, like I said, you are light. 
and you are being called you are being called to shine you're being put in a position where you kind of have to <laughs> the thing with our culture is we're so used to not having to really actually take action on things i mean as long as our modern day conveniences continue to tick along, we are just fine with the state of the world. But there comes a point, perhaps a tipping point, where we are like, wait a minute. It's not about my conveniences anymore. Because those pale to what's really happening within me. And what's really happening within me is the dark and the light become so clear. And I'm not talking about getting at a fucking podium and talking about it. I'm talking about you getting into your internal workstation and cultivating your light and being with your light. It's safe in there, okay? It's your safe place. It's the solution. The solution is not an outside in, it's an inside out. Like I've said in previous talks, like the most valid thing we could do right now, the most beneficial thing we could do is balance ourselves and thus balance the external bigger macro aspect of things if you're having fear ask for grace if you're having fear go wow let me recognize this i'm having fear and if i say i'm having fear then there is a witness to the fear and that witness is absolutely impenetrable that witness is your higher self. Witnessing yourself having fear is different than being stuck in the vibration of fear. So talk about it. Work it out. And the more you do, the more it loosens its grip. If you need to do a primal scream or <laughs> cry about it or scribble on some paper about it or go on a big long sweaty hike about it or sing about it then do so with the intention of I am being called forth I'm being called to action. And I am a warrior and I accept this. I'm a bad ass boss ass bitch and I accept this. And let it be completely like nothing you've ever seen or done before. There is no cookie cutter there's no app for this. There's no... <laughs> there isn't a goddamn how-to book on it. It's like, the what it is, is a, a kind of... It's change. It's different. It's spontaneous. It doesn't look like the laundry list of my life's going great because I'm X, Y, Z. It's a feeling... It's a way of being flexible with the world and a new perspective on the world. And it's a different dimension. It is a heart-centered existence. It is not to be figured out in your mind. It is an opening of the heart. It is the opening of your third eye. It is the opening of your crown. It is a connection to God. It is a connection to the cosmos. It is a connection 
to another. Let it wash over you. I don't really know if there's much else to say right now. Other than I was kind of thinking also about death. I was thinking about movies like A Christmas Carol or maybe it was like Miracle on 34th Street too. or I don't know. Does he die in Miracle on 34th Street? Something happens where people are like looking at their lives from like an outside perspective. Like a death perspective. Not, and I'm not talking about some morbid way, but like to give yourself space from your traditional personality or your traditional, you know, pattern of your life, your day to day, and to really see your life and and it's majestic the eye contact i mean eye contact the way that the wind moves the leaves the light of the the sunset you know the the way a really good meal smells you know It's all very precious. I guess I'm I'm really just trying to get you guys to like expand your your idea of who you are and where like the the scale of of who you are and how it stretches beyond you know 1977 to whenever. You're much bigger than that. And I'm trying to get you to connect with that sense of eternity. Connect with that sense of bigger than just this particular incarnation. So that you can understand the lessons and as well as the assignment for these times, for this incarnation. The assignment for this incarnation is to assist in a shift from the head to the heart. A different way of stepping upon this planet. Not so... Ah, you know? But more like, uh, confident, gentle, mm, very intelligent, very resourceful, very compassionate, very creative, very astute, very playful, not threatened, you know, alert, awake, but also, uh, let's rest, you know, mmm, Yeah, I guess that's it for now. Thanks for listening. I love you. Oh, yes, walk with God like you walk with, you know, you have those friends where you feel absolutely invincible with them. Nothing scares you. No social situation scares you. There isn't really ever a challenge. Everything is easy because you're in this energy with this person, whether it's a love or whether it's a friend, you're in this energy with them and it's just like, ah, oh, laughing, musing, just in love. Um, walk with that posse, you know, whether it's, deities, whether it's an energy, an idea, a star system, a person, 
or with your very self. Understand that all of that energy is you and it's available to you always. Always. So when the insecurities come up, when the cloud, the dark cloud comes over, remember who you're with. Remember that. Bring that forth. Tune in. Mm, okay. I love you guys. Let's keep rocking this. Let's keep doing this. Let's keep living this. Let's keep pulsing this. Let's keep this alive. Let's keep this vibe growing. All right. Bye-bye. For now. Yeah, yeah.